Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Cheers. I am back from vacation, only this is not the Sunday that I just got back from vacation. Um, I've actually been back a whole week, but been sick as a dog. Good times. And I mean, I'm being incredibly sarcastic when I say good times. Here's the thing. Woo. I I did something. I've been so proud that I haven't been sick and, and I'm still real I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm really stuffy. I'm still very congested. Like <coughs> if I were to <coughs> can you hear that? Um maybe not, but just um suffice it to say. Also, side note, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I was supposed to get it done last Monday. Um but everything had to get postponed this past week because of me being sick. So when I was down in Florida, um, Aubrey and Mike, um, so Kelly's daughter Aubrey and her husband Mike, uh, Mike James, who incidentally, totally dropping names, but he's awesome. Um, he plays for um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, and then their son, little we call him Little Mike. I call him Little Mike. There's like 700 names we call him, but he was there. And towards the end of the week, he had like a cold, um, a like a runny nose and a cough, and he just didn't feel well. I remember I kept there were so many times I was looking at him, going, "Oh my God, is he feeling okay?" And usually, I'm the one when I'm around my nieces and my nephew, and any kid that has got a runny nose or they don't feel well. I wash my hands like a psycho. I mean, it's actually kind of funny. So, you know, if we're at Mother's Day over at my sister's house or Father's Day or a birthday, and there's any kind of child that is sick, I'm the one going, you know, I just touched you, I gotta wash my hands. And I'll wash my hands like 200 times. Um, I know for a fact that we went out for dinner to this fantastic place called Swine. It was a barbecue place. It was awesome. Um, and little Mike was holding my hand in the back seat. And I think I just got so distracted because I felt so bad for him and I didn't wash my hands. And I know, you know, it's not his fault, but I know I caught what he had. And who knows why, but I caught it like a bat from hell. Is that the right expression? Bat out of hell. It hit me like a bat out of hell. I don't even know what that means, a bat out of hell. I'm gonna have to Google that. Um, but maybe you guys can Google it and put it in the comments and save me some time. Um, so please forgive the stuffiness, but I did wanna um, shoot this vlog, vlog and say hello. I'm getting ready to go uh, meet a friend and we're going out for a movie. And I wanted to tell you guys, first and foremost, that I'm glad to be back. I am just giddy with excitement <laughs> to get my hair done tomorrow. Um, no, I'm giddy with excitement because I, I just, I know I've kind of been saying this um, in so many of my last videos, but it's so true. I, I don't think I have ever in my whole life been so excited about what I'm doing, what I'm going to be doing, what I'm launching, what we're doing with the business, and, and not just about me. Let me clarify this. Like, I'm excited to be able to... Because ultimately, I found what my my purpose is. I, I've shared this with you guys. I found what my calling is, and and that is that um, I put this on my blog post. If you guys are are following me over there, I highly recommend you do that. Um, KellyAlexa.com. Um, but you know, I had read this book probably a couple years ago um, by Danielle De Laporte, and she says in this book, she goes, "What are the two things if you're trying to figure out what you should do?" If you were thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, say you had a full-time job and you wanted to become an entrepreneur, and they said, you know, what are the two things that people constantly thank you for? And in my world, you know, people tend to thank me for two things. They thank me for, you know, Kelly, you motivate me. Um, you know, I follow your example. I learn from you, from your mistakes, from the stuff you're going through. I love that you share everything, your ups and downs, your, you know, your real feelings, you know, your real struggles and all of that. So I... I tend to motivate people to realize that they can get f more fit, more healthy, um, do more things in their fitness, health, and wellness component of their life, um, leading by example and just sharing what I'm learning and, and so on and so forth. And the other thing that I get thanked for the most is 
in founding my company, which is Fitfluential, because of what that company does, because it brings together so many people. Um, now, now I get thanked twofold on that. I get thanked for inspiring people to become an entrepreneur, which I never thought I would be. And then also they thank me for founding Fitfluential because what Fitfluential does, a little bit more of what I do over there, the, the community, the accountability, the um, bringing together all kinds of fitness, health and wellness and sports folks that can connect with each other, inspire each other, and we can all learn and grow and so on and so forth. That had never been done. It, it was always fitness, health and wellness and sports was segmented. It was like sports was over there and it was male sports over there, female sports over there, um, crossfitters over there, bodybuilding over there, um, yogis over there, and then food was all separate. You know, and, and what I love about, and my vision has always been with Fitfluential, is to bring all that stuff together, bring all those people together, because I find that myself and others are kind of, not kind of, we're taking a more hybrid approach to our lives and our fitness and kind of, you know, picking a little bit of, we've enabled ourselves to pick a little bit of that, pick a little bit of that, trust our own gut and say, this is what works for me. You, you tend to see, or we tend to see in the fifth lunch community, a lot less of people going, I'm a CrossFitter, I'm a yogi, I'm vegan. They'll say, well, this is how I eat. I do a little bit of this, I do a little bit of that. Or um, this, is, this is what I do. I, I, I do a little CrossFit, I do yoga twice a week, and then my wife got me started on running, you know? People aren't defining themselves in one column anymore, and that's what I love. I think it's because that's really what I think is more fun. It certainly is better for the body. It's better for long-term health, um, and it also uh, encourages variety and diversity, which is what keeps us interested and not bored. So what I'm really excited about is that when I started blogging and I started doing my videos, it was really more accountability. It was more that I was reading other blogs and I was connecting with friends and it was more, you know, hey, we're sharing what's working for us. And now I have found my purpose. I have found my calling. I have found that in all of those arenas I just shared, you know, I have an opportunity. I have a bigger opportunity to be more proactive and, and help people, um, coach people, um, to, to take our, our business more broad, to take what I'm able to do in, in helping people uh, and educate people and help them learn from what I'm learning from in a more proactive manner. Instead of me, um, you know, I started to get a lot of you guys that were writing to me going, what did you do that you, you did a video one time on this, this, or this? Or they'd say, your blog talked about this. Can you show me where that was? And it's almost like, you know, people were coming to the encyclopedia of this and asking for resources. And, and, and that takes a lot of time for me. And then I started to realize, like, there's stuff I can be doing here. And I truly enjoy, um, obviously, I wouldn't be spending all this time doing this, videotaping and, uh, did I just say taping? I did. Video, uh, shooting videos, doing the vlogs, doing my blog again, starting to blog again. If I didn't feel very passionate about helping other people with the same struggles that I have, with maybe the, the hormonal balance issues that I'm having, and so on and so forth. So without getting into details, just suffice it to say that I have figured out all of the things that I'm going to be putting together from all of this madness. Um, and that means that there will be, you know, um, there was a book that I wrote um, and I had a publishing deal about four years ago. Um, and then the publishing deal fell apart and so now we're I'm updating my book, um, and then because of that book being updated, then all of a sudden I was like, well, wait a second, I've got this and this and this. So then there's other books, and I'm doing ebooks, things I never thought I would do before. Um, and, you know, basically taking everything I, I want to do and making it more accessible for you guys. And I'm, I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about stuff that's coming down the road with Fitfluential and, and what that means for all of you. Um, because ultimately it's all about everybody around us being able to improve um, and, and get more excited about life. And it doesn't matter if you're 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 or 70. It doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter if you um, are a parent and you've got kids that are obese and, and you don't know where to start. There's something for you and there's people you can connect with. And, and it's just, gosh, I don't even know how to, how to like simmer down my excitement because I am so excited and because it's genuine and it's 
it's an awesome opportunity and I just I, I almost can't contain myself um, I'm also excited to share simple things like you know for example I'm listening to a lot of podcasts and books and taking away from that like oh wow you know that's stuff I can incorporate in my professional life and my personal life that can make me more effective and decrease my stress and imp increase my productivity and now you know I'm all about if I figured that out and learn from somebody else why not do the same thing for you um, some of the things I figure out on my own some of the things I get inspired by other people but um, I just realized that that's what this is all about you know the good people they teach other people and and if you decide to be in life coachable forever that's how you're gonna benefit so I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm at 10 minutes but I did want to tell you guys something that I am very excited about Aside from, the, aside from the fact that I did get sick, um, and I have been very sick, um, luckily when I went to the doctor I didn't have strep or pneumonia. They thought I had pneumonia, and I was like, oh please. <laughs> um, so I just had a very bad upper respiratory uh, infection, but I've been sick the entire week. I have not been able to work, I have been on my couch, sleeping, being just in utter misery. But um, I knew it was for a reason, so I just accepted it. But, guess what? I lost five pounds while I was on vacation. So I stuck to my uh, insulin resistance diet plan. Um, it has become easier and easier for me. Um, do I have cravings for stuff? Absolutely. Did I want to have uh, adult beverages while I was down there? Oh, heck yes. I kept talking about how bad I wanted a beer or a mojito, but I'm on the metformin right now. So, um, but to be honest with you guys, and I'll talk about this in some of my next videos, I personally believe, and, I, and I've kind of, I'm going to talk to um, Dr. Risk about this. I honestly believe that the dietary changes I've made are making more of a difference than just taking the pill. Because if I think about it, you know, the dietary changes that happened, or excuse me, the uh, changes in my body and all my clothes getting really loose noticeably, um, and all of that that happened on vacation, you know, I had only just gone back on the metformin like a day or so before that. And I had been on metformin, if I'm correct, two weeks into my treatment before, and I was noticing nothing. So again, I'll find out about that, but I do believe that there's a much bigger impact that the dietary changes, and the dietary changes I've made are significant, um, but that they're having a much bigger impact than really, oh, I just started taking that, that pill again, because the dietary changes I had made uh, I think five or six days, um, maybe even a whole week before that. Um, but anyway, I'll talk about that next time. You guys have a great rest of the day and I will check in with you tomorrow. So excited.